Hello, everybody. Well, I finished the five-day mini-mini. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and, um, and I lost two pounds. Um, a little bit disappointed. Not that I just lost two pounds in five days. Losing two pounds in five days is awesome. But the problem was, remember, I had gained four pounds, uh-uh, three pounds uh, during my four days uh, off before. I just engaged in a lot of eating out and doing some silly things. And um, <clears throat> I, um, my, my hope was to lose one more pound than the three that I had gained for a total of four. I think I was just being a little bit, you know, just just wanting what I knew probably wasn't going to happen. But I lost two. So I'm still up one from my last way out. A little bit disappointed. But in the whole scheme of things, right, I'm going to start my new Mary's Mini on Monday almost at the weight that I was when I ended the last one. So that's okay. I'm still going in the right direction. So from my last Big Mary's Mini, I'm down five. And I'll take that. You know, I, I have a tendency to do this. I know a lot of people have a tendency to do this. Guys, listen. Weight loss, especially if you have a lot to lose. I'm talking like a lot because I, I do. I have a lot to lose. I get impatient. I get impatient and I want it to happen for me. I um, I want um, I want to consistently see results, um, even if I don't behave in ways that will make those results or results happen for me. And that last four days off, I didn't. Um, but what I can't do is get. Um, you know, all upset because I only lost two of the three that I gained, so I didn't lose any extra on this particular Mary's Mini. That's not going to do me any good whatsoever. Um, when we don't lose something on a Mary's Mini, um, we're not following it with fidelity. If we don't lose a single ounce or a pound, if we do a full 10-day Mary's Mini and we lose absolutely nothing at all, nine times out of 10, and I can be pretty certain with that inference that nine times out of 10, you're not following it or I'm not following it with fidelity. Something else is getting in there besides my starch, my non-starchy vegetables. Mary's Mini is designed to help you lose weight while you're feeling, you know, satisfied. You're not hungry. Nobody should ever be hungry on a Mary's Mini. If you're hungry, eat some food. <laughs> if you're hungry, grab a potato. Grab some rice. Whatever your starch is. If you're hungry, eat some food. And then take care of that. We, there's, we don't have to deal with not being able to be satisfied. Um, it takes care of satiety. It really, really does. Um, but nothing else is permitted to get in there. And so it's, um, it, it, it does us no good to wallow and to say, well, you know, this isn't working for me. You know, I'll try something else. This is not a sprint. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. And sometimes in a marathon, you've got to stop and go to the bathroom or drink some water. You've got to slow yourself down a little bit and then you'll get back to it. Just keep going along that path and you'll get to where you need to be. It's, um, it, it's not something that just happens. When losing weight is not, it's not a battle of the bulge. That's not what losing weight is. It's, it's, a, it's a bunch of little bitty battles. <laughs> Every time you make a decision to put something in your mouth, you're making that decision. And if you have this, 
yearning for something that you're craving or whatever. Oops, here comes a little battle. What are you going to do about it? How are we going to handle it? You know, and sometimes we handle it very, very well. Other times we don't handle it as well. Cravings do come. I've been whole food plant-based for the most part of my life for like a going, it'll be three years in December, December 1st. It'll be three years. Do I have urgings for things um, that um, are, you know, junk and stuff like that? Yes, I do. Uh, do I have urgings for animal products? No, I don't. I, I don't want that inflammation, that extra inflammation in my body. I don't have a problem. None of that. I'm I'm really, really good with eating a, a vegan diet. <laughs> I am so good with that. I don't I don't want any of that stuff in my body. Um, that that pain, that horrible pain that I was living with for a, a going on a couple of decades. It that has minimized so much. I don't want to go back to that. I don't want to go back to feeling sick all the time, being sick all the time with bronchitis and all that kind of stuff. It, it's in October and I haven't had a cold yet and I'm a teacher. Stick a pen in that. <laughs> wow, I just realized that. That's never happened since, since I've been teaching. I usually have my second one by now, you know, and I've I've not gotten sick. Allergies, yeah, you, my voice is getting a little bit deeper, always does in the fall, you know, the allergies and stuff like that, but I, I haven't even been taking a Zyrtec. I have taken nothing for allergies. This is just, you know, all I'm having to deal with. I'll take this. But getting back to um, as, as far as, you know, losing weight is concerned, we're going to have those stumbles. We're going to have those stumbles and sometimes we try to do and then we're working with it with, with fidelity and you know and and we only lose two pounds of the three that we gained and then we get upset and then say oh well you know and then get a little bit more of something because today is my first day of my weekend off and i start back on monday guys i'm doing my mary's mini today and tomorrow <laughs> Yes, yeah, my two days off, <laughs> with the exception of these on, only these items. I'm 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 gonna eat my potatoes and my non-starchy vegetables. I'm gonna have some beans this weekend. I'm gonna have my berries this weekend. I'm gonna have my flaxseed this weekend. Um, and so those things I'm gonna eat. But other than that, I'm sticking with my starch and uh, my non-starchy vegetables. I've been eating more raw food. I've been eating um, like um, cucumbers, uh, raw zucchini, um, because there's a lot of that out there. Um, And the radishes have just been so good. Tomatoes, um, sorry about that, something just popped up on my screen. And um, you know, I've been eating a lot of, and you know, and I like them, I like them. And I think I'll make a, a, uh, rainbow salad today. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> My toe is not well. <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to do all this stuff. I'm not going to do anything. Because I'm going to spend this weekend with my toe, with my foot elevated. That's one thing that's been, ooh, you know, having to work. I got to go to work, you know, all week long, you know, and so. Haven't been able to put my foot up much. So that's what I'm going to do this weekend. So I'm getting back to my basic stuff. So if a person says, you know, I don't know how to cook. How can I do a Mary's Mini? Well, I know how to cook. And this is killing me that I can't get in my kitchen and cook. But I am definitely eating well. Make my uh, Instant Pot full of my potatoes. And then uh, keep those things in my refrigerator and um, I just eat steamed or, you know, cooked vegetables because my, my vegetables during the week, I put it in my glass container, take it out the freezer, cut it, you know, put it in my glass container. And when I get to school, I put it in my Hot Logic Mini. Um, by the time it's time for me to eat lunch, my vegetables are nicely steamed and they're good. 
Um, it, that works really well with broccoli, uh, with green beans. It's a really nice texture of the green beans. It's not like my green beans and potatoes, but I like the way the green beans are cooked in my Hot Logic Mini. Um, you know, I put them in there around maybe 7.30, and by 11.30, um, they're, they're ready for me. So, um, so green beans is another one that I've tried. I've done cauliflower in there as well. The frozen cauliflower. They have some organic, uh, cauliflower at, at one of the stores. And I put that in there and it's cooked very nicely, uh, by the time my lunchtime comes. So, and so I've been having that. And then I have my potatoes and what I do with my potatoes is I'll put that in a larger container because I have a large hot logic uh, at, at work too. Put that in my larger one, no water in it, just my potatoes out the refrigerator. And then, um, you know, even for my snack, it's kind of warm, but they, they stay warm for me all day. And they don't cook to mush or anything. They get a little softer, but not too bad. And so I'll just grab the amount of potatoes I need for my snack. They're nice and warm. And then I'll grab the potatoes I need for my lunch, you know, and then I'll still have a few in there for my uh, afternoon snack around three. Um, and, and it's nice warm potatoes that I can go to, you know, all day long. I'll leave a few of them out for my ballpark potato salad because I eat that every day, you know, since I can't cook. Oh, that stuff is so good. Um, I make it for lunch just about every day because I keep my, my ketchup, my mustard, and my um, pickle relish in my refrigerator at school. And so that's just a quick, quick, quick meal. And it's just so good, you know. And, um, and so that's pretty much it. <laughs> I eat my potatoes and I pretty much eat green beans, uh, broccoli, and, um, and, and cauliflower. What I might try to do today uh, briefly, if I can um, get out of here and get to the store, is probably makes put some cabbage on. That won't require me to stand up too much or to have to move around too much. And if not, I won't. You know, so that's the way it goes. <laughs> but guys, bottom line, um, if we don't progress the way that we want, um, try to add some things in there that will help you progress better. Um, if something's not working for you, change it. Um, you know, figure something out. Plateaus happen now. Now, now we all know this. Plateaus occur. And plateaus are necessary. Plateaus, that's that little period of time that says, Ooh, okay, we made a little bit of a change. Let's settle in to our new weight. And so pla plateaus do that. They don't last for a long, long, long time though. So if you're doing a 10 day mini and you end up with a plateau in between there, um, you know, there, there are gonna be a couple of pounds that, that um, you'll still be able to realize even with the plateau doing what it needs to do. Um, but we do have to take ownership in what, in what we do during the time that we're on our program and my chosen program right now is a Mary's Mini and what we choose to do during the time that we're taking breaks you know with our normal whole food plant-based foods um, and um, you know and just you know be mindful of that junk food be mindful of going out to eat those sorts of things can get in the way of our progress okay guys well I'm going to start again on Monday, and I will have my next video out on Tuesday. I don't usually uh, film anything the day that I start, because the next day I can talk about how my first day was. So I will see you all on Tuesday morning, and y'all have a good one. Bye-bye. <music>